What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're working on a little series here called the Momo Modeler, I'm building kits in a Motel 6. The Motel Modeling. Uh, I'm living out of a motel right now, and I'm going to still try to keep stuff coming on the channel as much as I can. Working with a cell phone that's taped to a box that's... The, I don't know if this is going to work, so just bear with me. I'm still going to keep it unscripted and try to keep it as organic as possible. So, today we're going to be looking at the Ravel GMC 78 truck, the big game country. Um, I already cracked this one open. Um, you can see on the side of the box, just like Ravel always does, has a basic, you know, what's in it, little stats about the vehicle itself. Um, you know, some pictures of what the finished build would or could maybe look like when you get yours. Nothing on the back. And we'll go ahead and pop that off of there. And I'm just going to dump it and sort it. We have some miscellaneous parts floating around. I'll do my best to pull this stuff off to one side for now. Keep everything in frame. These miscellaneous stuff that broke off was your radiator hose and a shock for one of the shocks and um yeah whatever so get into the decals it's got a really nice decal sheet of some camo uh, i probably will use that for this build i'm kind of working on a budget here and tool constraints so I'm probably going to use that to hide some of the flaws. Some of this other GMC stuff is going to be used for another kit. We'll talk about that in a little while. So there's the decals and the Revell instruction sheet. Pretty standard. Nothing different. Uh, you know, starts with the... Oh boy. Organic. Bear with me. Starts with the engine assembly and goes to the final assembly and then the decal locations. Nothing different, nothing new about that. So we'll go right to the chrome tree. I'm not going to take it out, but I'll go ahead and hold it there so you can see what's in it. Um, I've built this kit a few times. The truck itself, the, uh, the snow plow, and this one share the same chassis and a lot of the same parts. So there's some carryover leftover stuff, but there's those really nice wheels. Those look really good with a little bit of black wash uh, and some flat. And there's then there's that strange EFI thing that, ugh, man, I really wish they just stopped using those. <laughs> so there's the chrome stuff. And then we'll get into the chassis or the suspension. Um, like I said, I had already opened this up and taken some sprue parts out, but everything in here is complete. So there's your lifted suspension, front and rear, four-wheel drive, and uh, the rest of that part. You can see uh, I got the wrong one. Bear with me. Like I said, organic. The sway bars, front and rear, and truss, uh, axle truss. Pretty cool. So it's pretty stout four-wheel drive. It's been beefed up. Then you can see there's that nice big GM hood, the cab back, and the interior tub uh, pro tip. Glue that on first before you paint it. it it's just going to be a pain in the if you don't. Um, and you'll be able to get the tub in there. Trust me. It, it's not a problem. Glue that back on there before you start and just save you all kinds of grief so we'll get to the body here in a minute there's the rest there's the frame and the way the Revell has it it's you know nice and sturdy you can see that it's most likely not going to be warped or tweaked uh dual gas tanks you can always cut those off if you don't want to the exhaust is molded in dual exhaust and the tires you can see here are so cool nice squishy rubber um uh, no name brand but really good uh tread pattern looks really good a little bit of sanding a little bit of uh you know a little mud or something here and there to make it look nice 
and there's the fan. It's a GM fan. I'm a GM fan. Are you? Haha, <laughs> boom, boom. Some wheel backs. Uh, off camera organic. Here, let's just rip into it. Rip into it. Part of the fun, you know, watching me bump the camera and move stuff around. So there's the bed. Simple build. Just glue the sides on and it's notched for location keyed notch for where it'll go it's not going to come out all crooked uh, roll bar tailgate and then that's the spare tire mount for so you can have the spare tire in the back of the bed with the roll bar that's somewhere I haven't gotten to that yet and there's that cab nice details nice and crisp feels good pretty typical Ravel feels good it's solid not a whole lot of flash at all a little bit of scribing will pull that out and then some panel line will bring the details out even better that's a it's a nice truck it's a good kit like I said I've built this before um, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to put pictures in into this video again I'm working out of a motel I don't have my big computer or my cameras or anything so you get what you get and then this tree the engine house uh, there's that GM dashboard with nice details, really good details. They do include gauges in the decal sheet. So if you wanted to use those, you could, or you could toothpick paint those either way. Um, the transfer case halves, all the shocks, uh, fuel can, extra gas can, that's, that's half, you can glue those two parts together. And the roll bar and, um, a gun rack <laughs> uh, with guns. I don't even have a gun, much less several to necessitate an entire rack. Nerd alert, name that movie. And, you know, there's a transfer case, uh, skid plate, push bar. Pretty cool kit. Uh, let's look again. Let me see, make sure. Yeah, there's no standard manifold you have to use that weird EFI thing I just really don't like those uh, and then it's got these ugh, they're kind of fiddly those two-part mirrors mm. glue those together before you glue them onto the model <laughs> trust me on that one and then the glass um, one piece for the rear window one piece for the front and then it also has a skylight optional that is marked so that you could scribe that out pretty easily and then uh headlights and tail lights that are clear you have to paint those yourself and that about does it for the revel 78 gmc big game country pickup gonna be building this one up not sure how or when again i'm in the motel and this is the motel modeler Building kits in the Motel 6. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, all that horse hockey, comment, do whatever. Don't do any of that stuff. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.